Alrighty folks, howdy. A little bit of the gold rush there for you. I'm Sean Brock and we are back with another mandolin lesson on guess what? You guessed it, the gold rush, right? Alright, if you haven't subscribed, please, 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 pretty please do so. Uh, pass this along if you know anyone who's in need of, uh, well, need don't even have nothing to do with it. If they have an interest in mandolin or get, uh, bluegrass guitar, uh, gear reviews for us acoustic musicians please uh, pass my info along have them subscribe if there's a tune that you want to learn a technique that you want to talk about leave me a message down in the comments I'll be glad to try to uh, help you figure something out on it and upload a video and we'll see what we can get done anyway this is old song uh, very very standard uh, I'd like to remind you you can find a backing track for these uh, courtesy of BBT backing tracks on YouTube they have several versions of the Gold Rush uh, going all the way from 80 beats per minute on up uh, the version I just was playing with is 120 beats per minute hopefully uh, after you have the tune up to snuff it should be played somewhere around there a uh, little either side of 120 BPM um, to uh, see what I did, you can always uh, hit the more options button and you can slow down me playing with the track. And I know some folks, they say that really helps them out to be able to slow that down. So, but anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Uh, the chords are uh, A, A and E for the first section, A, D, A, E for the second section. And it just, uh, pretty standard, one, two, three, four, A, hanging in there, E, A. So, generally, tune starts with a shuffle. Of course. Um, and we're going to break this down to show you just the melody, and then I'll talk about a few embellishments you might make afterwards. Uh, I'm going to show you the melody. We're going to start right here on the second fret on the D string and we'll take it a phrase at a time. And uh, if you if you know an A scale, you can play this. And what we're doing there is starting on that first finger on the D, second fret, two, fourth fret, open A, second fret A, fourth fret A, fifth fret A, open E. Got it. And then the next phrase, we, we're still right there on that open E string. And we're going to go second fret. And open again. And then we're going back to the A string. And that was just uh, similar to the other phrase. Four. Five, open E, so all together. One more time. And then two A's open, open, open. back to the E string and what we're doing there is kind of an old Joe Clark lick so open two three two open 
and then we're back to the A string. And that's just walking down the uh, scale there. Five, four, two, open, and then second fret on the D. Throw that in there too. That uh, uh, F sharp note. So the whole thing up to this point. One more time. Got all that? Next phrase, we're going to go up to this G string. Uh, kind of this shape. When my video, when we talked about shapes, I mentioned this one. And uh, basically what we got here is the third finger. Uh, I, I definitely recommend you use the third finger on this as well. Um, we got our third finger there on the uh, sixth fret of the G string and our index on that E note, which is the D string second fret. And what we're doing there is six, four, two, four, six, open D to the second fret, and then we're back to the A string. And what we're doing there is very simple. Again, all scale based. Open, two, four, and then to the E string. And we're just doing open, two, open. And then we're going to repeat that lick mostly. Just going to add in a few notes. Remember our scales, okay? So we have the So we're just adding a couple notes in there. We've got the the same as the first part. Open, two, four, open, two, open. And then we got two, or excuse me, four, two, six, on the D, open, on the A. Okay, that's the whole first part of it. I won't try to play it. I improvise way too much on this song. So I'm going to try to give you the melody I just gave you. Repeat that whole section. And on the repeat, um, what I'm doing there, again, we talk about that, that shape there. We're just moving that down a set of strings. So I'm just leaving my third finger there. I'm buying time. 
sliding that up and, gra and also hitting that open A. Let's do the second part now, the B part. And I'm coming to that with a slide. I'm sliding three to four. Open E. Four, two, open. And then I'm going to the open D. And that's just scale. That's all that is. Open, two, four, open uh, A. And then back to that second fret on that D string. Got that? One more time. And I'm reaching back up here, same shape. Uh, that sixth fret on our uh, G string with my ring finger. I'm just walking down and back up. Six, four, two, four, six. And then I'm going two, four on my D. I'll open A. And then I'll slide in this shape. Uh, from the first fret, I'm barring here on the D string with my index. That's the first fret, and that'll be the third fret on my A string. And there's a few ways you can do it. You can you can do that where you slide the whole shape up, or you can just uh, slide up, uh, put your first finger at the second fret on the D and your second finger on the C note at the third fret just like you're making the C chord it has a little more authority when you do the double slide I think and then uh, we're basically repeating most of that Same, same stuff, three to four, and then open E, four, two, open, open, two, four, open A, four, two, and the only thing different is the ending here, because we're at the uh, second part of the the uh, B part. And when they were using the same ending we used to close down the A part that off the D string, two to four, open, two, four on the A, and then open A, second fret on the A, and then we're doing that uh, a sixth fret on the D string and sliding back in into the uh, match the A's. So that's pretty much the whole tune. That's the whole second part right there. And uh, as far as improv goes, there's so much of the one. The A chord there. Um, another way uh, that you can almost get away with just a ton of stuff. I, I, got, I go, you know, just sometimes if I'm improv and
that stuff right there. And you, you can do that slide in the same thing that we learned on the beginning. And when you get to that D note, slide up. You're basically sliding from a G there at the, uh, your second finger at the third fret. Your third finger is at the uh, fifth fret. You're sliding that up a whole step. You can do that for kicking it off. Uh, uh, you can do that, kind of a, a three, two, open, and then moving to the A. Uh, that'd be five, four, five, slide to seven. You can throw that in there. There's a lot of stuff. And uh, don't, don't forget your half steps. The whole thing doesn't have to be pretty. Um, got a lot of stuff in there and try to do some of that um, just slow enough to where you can pick it up and where you can slow the player down Anyway, that's uh, kind of the idea, guys. I hope all of y'all are staying well, and I hope you're picking a whole big bunch. And uh, like I said, please subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions on anything. And until next time, take care.